Hey, Helldivers, welcome back to Joystick News, your trusted ally in the vast universe of gaming news and deep dives. Today, we're suiting up and diving into the dystopian future of Helldivers 2, a thrilling third-person shooter that's been capturing the hearts of gamers around the globe. If you've been battling across the galaxy but are still scratching your helmet over how liberation works, you've come to the right place. Let's unpack everything you need to know about freeing planets from the clutches of evil aliens in Helldivers 2. The Battle for Super Earth In Helldivers 2, developed by the ingenious minds at Arrowhead Game Studios, we're thrown into a universe where chaos reigns supreme. Super Earth is under threat and its survival lies in the hands of the Helldivers, an elite group of soldiers tasked with taking down chargers, terminids, and a slew of other extraterrestrial threats. But this isn't just about survival, it's about liberation. Understanding the liberation percentage. At the heart of our mission is the liberation percentage, a critical indicator that shows us how much of the galaxy we've managed to free from automaton occupation. Picture this. The Helldivers 2 map is a mosaic of sectors, each teeming with planets needing our help. While the exact number of sectors remains a closely guarded secret, whispers suggest there are more than 50, each with its own liberation percentage. Navigating through Galactic War So, how do you check this all-important liberation percentage? Simple. Head over to the Galactic War map on your ship. Select the sector that's caught your eye. Explore the planets within, and voila, their current liberation percentages are at your fingertips. The strategy behind liberation. Liberation isn't just a number, it's a reflection of our collective efforts in the galactic war. To push back the alien invasion, we're handed orders or missions, some are major, calling on all players to band together, while others are individual, updating daily. Each completed order nudges the liberation percentage upwards, edging us closer to our goal of a free galaxy. The community effort. What makes Helldivers 2 uniquely captivating is the communal endeavor towards liberation. It's a joint mission where the actions of every player contribute to the overall progress. Liberating all the planets in a sector closes the chapter on that battlefield, ushering in a new sector with fresh challenges and enemies. The highs and lows of liberation. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Our liberation efforts can backslide due to mission failures or if the Helldiver community hits a lull in activity. Alien forces are relentless, slowly reclaiming their lost territories. And here's a pro tip. Tackling missions on higher difficulties can significantly boost the liberation percentage, but be warned, failure carries a heavier penalty. Final thoughts. Liberators of the galaxy, Helldivers 2 is not just a game, it's a call to arms. It challenges us to strategize, collaborate, and push beyond our limits for the greater good of Super Earth. As we navigate through sectors, liberate planets, and fend off alien threats, we're reminded of the power of unity and the relentless spirit of the Helldivers. So what's your strategy for liberation? How have you contributed to the fight for Super Earth? Share your tales of valor, strategies, and thoughts in the comments below. And if you're looking for more gaming insights, tricks, and news, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications from Joystick News. Until our next adventure, keep diving, keep fighting, and remember in the vastness of space, no one liberates alone.